How to treat firewood before it is burned. In the Navajo home, the fireplace has always been a place to feel the comforts of home. A fire is built before a blessing way ceremony is held. All the blessings of a home, the storytelling, the cooking of food, staying warm through the cold months of the season, are done by first building a fire. In the Navajo language, we call this place our Konik Eh, the fire within. Today, families begin hauling wood by pickup trucks in the late spring and early fall months to last through the winter. Most families today rely mostly on wood from juniper and pinyon pine trees to keep their homes warm. The wood stove is an important place to keep safe and always ready for use. The way to keep the air we breathe healthy, we must take care of the wood we use to heat our homes. This video provides some good tips on how to treat firewood before it is used to heat your home in a wood stove. The first recommendation is to start with dry wood. The Navajo Nation Environmental Protection Agency information recommends cutting down a juniper or pinyon tree that is already dead to make sure that it is as dry as possible. Doing this helps to preserve the health of our forests. Cutting down a tree when it is still alive will contain more moisture. Burning wood that is still moist will produce more smoke when it is burning. It is very important that the wood is seasoned or well dried before burning it in a wood stove. Wood that still contains moisture should be seasoned or dried for 6 to 12 months before use. The second recommendation is to prepare and store your wood. Once a tree is cut down and harvested, it must be split and stored in a dry place. Locate a storage area away from any buildings or structures. Split your wood to a size that will easily fit into your stove. It is good to split wood in various sizes. Each piece of wood should be 6 inches or less in diameter. When using larger pieces of wood, please make sure it is as dry as possible when seasoned. If the firewood gets wet from rain or snow, take it inside or to a dry storage area to dry. When building a fire, split the wood into smaller sizes from 1 inch in diameter up to 6 inches in diameter to use for kindling. When you split your firewood, stack the firewood on top of an elevated area like a wood pallet, on top of wood branches or in a wood box. Stack all of the firewood with the split side down. When the wood is stacked up, cover the wood pile with a tarp to protect it from rain and snow. Keep the sides of the wood stack open to allow airflow to circulate and dry the wood. The majority of wood that is harvested on Navajo land are juniper and pinyon pine, and sometimes scrub oak. Due to their abundance, most homes use a combination of juniper and pinyon pine wood. It is very important to dry the wood at least six months before use. The third recommendation is to use a moisture meter to test your wood. Sometimes the wood looks and feels dry but could still contain a good amount of moisture. Signs like cracks or grain do not accurately indicate that the wood is adequately dry. A moisture meter is used to measure the amount of moisture in the wood before it is burned. This is a good way to ensure that the wood is dry enough to burn. Properly dried wood has a moisture content of 20% or less. The best way to take a moisture reading is to first split a piece of wood so you can measure the inner parts of the wood. Then firmly press the two prongs on the end of the meter to the surface of the wood. Press the OK button. Measuring from a freshly cut area is the most accurate way to measure moisture. The screen will display the wood's moisture content. It is good to check the same piece of wood in multiple places to ensure that the moisture content 
is 20% or less. Using dry wood allows you to start a hot fire quickly. You end up using less wood. You save time and money. Dry wood decreases the chance of smoke getting into the house. Elders and children are less likely to breathe in too much wood smoke by using dry wood. Only you can reduce the risks of smoke in the home by treating firewood properly before it is burned. Please remember, healthy air in the home begins with the firewood that is used to treat the home. When harvesting wood yourself, seek trees that are already dead or dried out. Split, stack, cover, and store your wood for at least six months prior to burning. Use a moisture meter to ensure the wood has a moisture content of 20% or less. Following these tips will save you time and money, help you use less wood and reduce the amount of indoor air pollution you and your family members breathe. In the Navajo home, the fireplace has always been a place to feel the comforts of home. The storytelling, the cooking of food, Staying warm through the cold months of the season are done by first building a fire in a wood stove. In the Navajo language, we call this place our Konik'e, the fire within.